What is good, peasants? My name is JB, and I'm here today with my week three battle for the BBL or Bandless Battles League. This week, we are taking on a, a Gapal of ours, Mr. Omega Jolteon, coach of the Chicago Caracostas. Definitely be sure to go check him out in the description below. In the description below, uh, it's 7 a.m., forgive me. Uh, he's a very good battler, uh, so yeah, definitely go check him out. He's one of the uh, better players known in the Zit community, so I'm sure you all know who he is by now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the team. As you can see, I'm still shot for time this weekend. Uh, I rushed my UBL video out Saturday because I was stopped for time. Sunday, I was gone literally all day. And now it's 7 a.m. on Monday, and this video is supposed to go up today. So who knows when you're actually seeing this. Hopefully it is today on Monday. If it's not, I apologize. But yeah, I wasn't home at all Sunday, and I got lazy and didn't record during the week. I managed to record my PCL game during the week, though. So <laughs> yeah, go me. Anyway, um... Yeah, we have our battle against Omega Jolteon. Uh, I'll go ahead and go over his team real quick, his full roster. He has the Mewtwo, Mega Lopunny, uh, Thunderous Incarnate with Z-Moves, Klefki, Crocodile, Volcanion, Roserade, Mesa with Z-Moves, my freaking boy, Stunfisk, one of my top five all-time favorite Pokemon, also with Z-Moves, Primplup, and as well as Fracture, also with Z-Moves. So, a very scary offensive team. You can see he ended up bringing the Mesprit, the Thunderous, the Volcanion, the Roserade, the Mewtwo, and the Mega Lopunny. So... All in all, a very threatening team that he brought. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the squad that I have here before you. First off, you can see we have the uh, Rotom Yeats. Uh, this week we're rocking just a standard choice guy for Rotom Heat with uh, the moves Shadow Ball, Overheat, Volt Switch, and Trick. Uh, we have Speed for Tim and Mesprit, and the idea here is uh, uh, Volt Switch is relatively free against this team. He does have a couple of ground types being Crocodile and um, Stunfisk, but I guess the rest of his team, nothing really appreciates taking Volt Switches repeatedly. And neither one of those things really, another one of his ground types would really appreciate the rest of my team, especially because you see we ended up bringing both of our water types. So yeah, uh, I thought, thought that, you know, just Volt switching around on his team a lot would be nice. And then, you know, crippling stuff like the uh, Clef Key potentially with a Scarf, or even, you know, getting, you know, some a trick on something like the uh, Stunfisk or whatever. Just, you know, nice and Scarf shenanigans. Thought would be fun. M mostly, though, mainly here to just, you know, spam Volt Switch against a squad that doesn't really appreciate switching in the Volt Switch. Uh... Repeatedly, especially as you can see, he did not end up bringing a ground type. Next up, we have Brain, our Yuxi with leftovers. This week, we are rocking uh, Stealth Rock, Psychic, Thunder Wave, and U Turn. Uh, physically defensive set uh, with uh, next to max HP, next to max physical defense, and 20 speed, which is, does allow us to uh, just speed creep other base 95. Sort of like a crocodile that a bulky crocodile that just wants to run speed for Yuxi. But we have physical stuff to help with Mega Low Punny. Basically, it's just here as a Mega Low Punny check. Uh, just being physically defensive. We have Thunder Wave to help cripple that thing. Psychic uh, hits that thing super effectively. And then we just have Stealth Rock and U-Turn for, you know, rocks and momentum. Pretty self-explanatory. Next up, we have Ray Romano, our Memo Swan. Rocket of Choice Ban with the uh, moves Earthquake, Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, and Super Power. Uh, we have Max HP, or not Max HP. We have 12 HP, Max Physical Attack, and then 244 Speed. Which allows us to uh, outspeed Jolly Fracture, and then we Oko everything weak to Ice Shard. Like everything that on his team that is weak to Ice gets oko by Ice Shard. So uh, Crocodile, non intimidate, non bulky. So like a Scarf Crook drops to it, uh, Thunderous drops to it, Roserade drops to it. So yeah, and then Fracture if it's not EV Light as well. So nothing wants to take Bandit Ice Shard. Uh, especially, you know, once we chip his team down, even stuff like Mewtwo or Low Pony or Mesprit in this case will want to take it either. And then Earthquake, you know, just hits everything ridiculously hard. I still go crash hit stuff ridiculously hard, so... Yeah. It's just a banded, banded uh, Mammoth Swine, because Banded Mammoth Swine. And then, next up, I decided to go ahead and bring Walrein. Uh, he had a Volcanion, and I thought, when am I going to have a better chance to bring a freaking Walrein than against the Volcanion team? Uh, we quad resist both, uh, or it's Water Stab, and then we're uh, Thick Fat to take on its Fighting Stab as well, so... We have a max HP, max uh, specially defensive wall rain with the moves Toxic, Super Fang, Ice Beam, and Earthquake. Uh, so yeah, we, nice Toxic, Super Fang just to, um, you know, annoy everything. You know, just annoy stuff like the Volcanion or the Mewtwo if we need to hit it, uh, chip that thing down. Uh, we have Spadef to full-on wall Volcanion. The only real thing it gets would be like Hidden Power. Uh, neutral Sludge Waves aren't even doing that much to it. And then Ice Beam plus EQ hits everything neutrally on his team, so... Might as well just go ahead and run a nice little bit of coverage. EQ gives us something to hit the Volcanion if we need to. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, Earthquake just sits. And then Ice Beam just hits everything else neutrally or super effectively. Yada, yada, yada. And then next up, 
be the floor just i'm sorry it's like it's out of order on my showdown screen versus the uh uh in game screen so next up we have flower or floor just i don't know really creative nickname uh drop me some floor just nicknames i don't have any good ones but we have uh leftovers on this set moon blast wish defog protect max hp max uh, physical defense very uh straightforward set uh it's just standard fizz stuff to take hits from stuff like low punny or uh you know the potential fracture or crocodile that would want to be physical or even like a physical Mewtwo, it's just like it's it's a it's a freaking floor. Just it's just here to take hits and click Moonblast. He doesn't have the best Moonblast switch-ins outside of Volcano and Rose Raid, which he did end up bringing both of. But um, you know, Mewtwo doesn't appreciate that if it's not called Mine. Low Punny for sure doesn't. Thunderous doesn't. And then again, Vesper doesn't if it's not called Mine as well. And then last but certainly not least, we have Bubbles our Palkia with the Dragonium Z this week. We have the move Jacob Meteor Surf, Earth Power, and Ice Beam. We have 76 HP, max special attack, and then 180 speed Timid, which allows us to outspeed Timid Rose Raid, and then Z, Draco, one-shots all the things that aren't Klefki. So, yeah, Z, Dragonium Z was just really free this game, so might as well just drop a nuke on something. So let's go ahead and get into the game. Uh, next week, uh, the, you know, all the bells and whistles will be coming back with the layout and all that nonsense, but... Yeah, like I said, I just need to get this game out, and I didn't have time to uh, fucks with Photoshop this week. So let's go ahead and get into the matchup. Okay, so after some technical difficulties, because uh, this thing just doesn't want to work with me, let's go ahead and get into the game, shall we? So, I don't know anything about how the leads went in this matchup, but we will see how things ended up happening. Let's uh, go ahead and find out together shall we so he ends up leading off with the uh mesprit as i lead off with rotom yeet uh for those of you who have played kingdom hearts i'm sure you will appreciate omega's nicknames i think they're uh operation 13 i think that's what they're called whatever uh they're they're kingdom hearts references is a nickname so shout out to kingdom hearts i'm trying to get caught up to play the uh new game but uh yeah he i just tricked the mesprit turn one as it Seems like it'd be more of a lead color variant. Turns out I was right, so I ended up giving him a scarf mesh, which is good and bad. As it, you know, seems like it's a more defensive variant, so it's less uh, scary than it would be if it wasn't. But he just decides to go right into the Mewtwo after. So I fire off a Shadow Ball, which you know, of course, hit the mesh super effectively. But I look like a Lord as a you know, I hit an incoming Mewtwo with a super effective Shadow Ball, uh, doing around half, a little less. But you can see he just heals a little bit of that back with leftovers. So. Uh, he's gonna go for a side strike, which I did not think would kill me, but uh, it turns out this is a Mewtwo and goodbye Rotom, so feels bad, man. Um, yeah, <laughs> Mewtwo's disgusting. Side strike is just like a stronger size shock. For those of you who don't know, it's base 100 power as opposed to base 80, and Mewtwo has like a billion special attacks, so it's gonna hurt. So I can go into bubbles here uh, and fire off a Z Draco. If he wants to go for Calm Mind, it's still a roll. I believe in my favor to kill, as he does go for the Calm Mind, as you can see. I believe this is still a roll in my favor to kill. I think it was like a 60% chance to kill with the Z Draco, but I wasn't screwing around with the Mewtwo because this thing has been just running through teams thus far in the season. So, yeah, and I, I, I wasn't about getting uh, 6 0'd by another Call My Duber, so I just decided to blow this thing back with my Z move right away before this thing got out of hand. And like I said, I do believe it was still in my favor with this roll to kill, so we're just going to fire off the uh, Devastating Drake and hope for the best. And if I, you know, miss out on this KO, this might be GG and I might just get swept again. But thankfully, uh, I managed to get the roll. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it was in my favor. I don't recall. I think it, uh, I would have to, you know, go look at his set and so whatnot. But uh, we do thankfully get the roll on the Mewtwo before it gets too out of hand. As he brings in the Rose Raid, which I do have speed for, so I can just fire off an Ice Beam, which will do a ton of this thing. I am max special attack timid, so it's going to do a lot. You can see it does around half, so it tells me he's probably at least somewhat invested, if not Assault Vest. So he's just gonna fire off a sludge bomb and do all right, you know, around 35-ish, 40-ish percent, something like that probably. Does snag a poison, which is annoying. You can see the black sludge recovery, so he just seems to be a very uh, especially defensive Roserade. Uh, so I'm just gonna fire off a second Ice Beam, which will finish this thing off. And Palkia's coming through, out here getting kills, out here claiming lives because that's what it does, it's a Palkia. So uh, the Roserade is gonna go down, so Palkia's looking nice and clean with two kills already. And we're sitting in a good spot, we, you know, sacrificed our Rotom for a trick basically but it's fine we got rid of the things we need to get rid of so he brings in the mega low punny and uh he's gonna mega evolve i believe i just decide to uh sack off the palkia at this point and hope he misses high jump kick or something because i didn't want to get him a free i didn't want to let him get a free substitute on the switch as he does just fire off a frustration which will of course blow back our poor palkia from where it's at but it more than did its job uh making sure we didn't lose to mewtwo so uh fair trade i suppose 
But I can just bring him a flower here, and I believe I just fire off the Moonblast straight away. Again, not wanting to play games with the threat. Take a quick drink real quick. As I do fire off the Moonblast, as he brings in the nice and solid resist being the Volcanion. You can see that does nothing. You know, it still does, like, you know, a solid 25% because, um, you know, Florida is pretty strong. But I can just go into Jon Snow, the King of the North, who is uh, a female, so, I mean... Sansa? Arya? I don't know, but we have we have Walrein in here. Uh, just get a little bit of a HP back. You see that Sludge Bomb did absolutely nothing. And I believe I just fire off a Toxic here, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I Earthquake. Uh, I think Earthquake is a misplay at this point, as he goes into the... Um, Mesprit, and I do, in fact, go for the Toxic catching the Mesprit on the Switch, which is very solid indeed. Uh, not letting this thing, you know, come in for free. And he shall knock off at this point, and I don't want to let my uh, Wall Rain lose its leftovers just yet, so I believe I do switch out into something that can take a knockoff. Uh, probably Florges. Or no, I actually decided to go Brain. Uh, not really sure why I went Brain on a predicted knockoff. I, maybe I wasn't predicting knockoff in the past, but. President JB thought he was going for a knockoff, and President JB's right as he just goes go for a knockoff here. And I believe I just get my rocks up to, uh, you know, pressure the Volcanion as well as the Thunderous. And he either doesn't have uh, Defog or he has it on something that's weak to rocks. So either way, uh, he's going to have to take Rock Ship to get rid of these rocks. So I do decide to go ahead and just get him up at this point in the game. And I'm pretty sure I U turn on this thing as he Volt switches, which will do a lot to Brain. But I'm a Brain, so I don't really care. And he, I believe, will go into the, um, no, he goes into Mesprit here, okay. That he went back into the, uh, Volcanion there, but I will just do turn out, uh, getting a decent chunk of damage off on the, uh, <laughs> Mesprit, not really, that actually did absolutely nothing, but you know, it's a, it's a freaking, um, what you call it, brain, so it's not really gonna do a lot to, uh, a wannabe brain. Excuse me. So, uh, we're gonna bring in Mesprit here. Be aggressive as I'm like, wait a minute, he's faster than me? Oh yeah, I did that. That's my fault. I tricked him with Scarf. I just gave him a lot of damage on my Mammoth Swine because I'm stupid. But either way, I fire off an Icicle Crash because I thought I was faster, but I'm stupid. And I gave him a Scarf. Good job. Good job, self. I remember that place because I was like, wait. Oh yeah. I, I remember uh, being stupid for that uh, in the past. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, thankfully I do manage to hit the um, Icicle Crash though as he... Brings in the low punny after. I do still have brain at a decent amount of HP, and he's just gonna fire off a frustration or a power up punch. Excuse me. Get that plus one attack, which is extremely annoying. Uh, which uh, will of course put brain in range of frustration. Fortunately, not Rocky Helmet this week, as he would have taken quite a bit of chip from these two attacks. But and eh, feels bad, man. Can't always have what we want. But I do still have a full HP flower. Uh, he's not really gonna be doing that much to me with frustration. He can't kill me with it even at plus one. So. I'm still uh, pretty free to come in here and fire off another, what you call it, uh, Moonblast. As he brings in the Volcanion, taking another round of rocks and taking another big hit from Moonblast, which did around 25% last time. So he's sitting at around, you know, 25-ish percent uh, at this point. He's at actually uh, around, you know, 30 as you guys can see. But I will, you know, switch out once again into Jon Snow, not letting uh, this thing do the things that it wants to do, like actually hurt me. But he's going to go for a Sludge Bomb again, not doing a whole heck of a lot to our boy. To the king of the north, who's a female, so, I mean, I guess, whatever. He's gonna go for a sub here, as, uh, I believe this is the turn I do Earthquake this thing, so yeah, we Earthquake this thing. He doesn't get the sub for free, so that's always nice. Uh, this thing would have been annoying behind a sub, but again, I'm a wall rain, he can't really do anything to me as long as I had a move to hit this thing, I think it would have been fine. But yeah, thankfully, uh, I am able to go ahead and get the, uh, Earthquake off. Thankfully, I did pack the Earthquake for this thing, so we can't just, you know, sub for free and, uh, PP saw me because I'm pretty sure he might have been able to, which would have been disgusting. But he's going to go for yet another Sludge Bomb. Thankfully not snagging the poison as I'm able to fire off another Earthquake, which uh, even though he shook it, he will die at this, you know, very tiny amount of HP he's at. And Walrein gets a kill in an Ubers League. Shout out to Walrein. I've never been happier. But uh, yeah, the Volcanion is going to go down, which is uh, very nice to see. And we're looking pretty nice right now. We have a pretty full uh, team. We still have a lot of stuff on our team that can handle... Things, but he does still have the stupid uh, low punny, which uh, power up punch I believe does kill from this range and some fizz stuff. So I don't really want to stay in and take that as I uh, he goes for a frustration. So I guess I just suck off Jon Snow, which actually eats the hit. So shout out to Jon Snow, and I can get off a little bit chip with his ice beam, and you know that's some solid damage. I don't boy Jon or girl, whatever. Um, 
I believe I switch out here into the uh, floor, just not wanting him to get a uh, free power up punch boost off that. So we get him floor just here as he does go for a frustration. So he makes a really good play. Uh, and I believe we'll actually be able to hit KO my flower from here, which is not bueno at all. So that's actually really quite bad. So uh, I do actually go for a protect, which uh, could potentially put me in range of living another uh, frustration after the leftovers recovery. And then I'll be able to fire off another moon blast and hopefully take this thing out. Uh, I believe it's a roll. Uh, I don't remember the exact roll for uh, frustration to kill at this point, but I do believe. Uh, it is a roll, and I think I get lucky and live. Yes, I live on 5 HP, so that Protect actually did come in very clutch there. And I can fire off a Moonblast, which will finish off the low punny from where it's at. So he has the Thunderous and the... Couldn't tell you what else. Uh, against the very low Jon Snow, the very low uh, Florges, and the very low... Or, and the full health Mammoth Swine, so... Yeah, he's going to go into the Thunderous here. Oh, he actually only has the Thunderous, okay. So he's going to go for a Volt Switch. Uh, which will, of course, finish off my poor flower. Feels bad, man. And uh, I think uh, I just go into Mammoth Swine here. And uh, he should die to Bandit Ice Shard unless he is Yachi Berry. And it turns out he's Yachi Berry. So yeah, I'm gonna miss out on the KO. And unfortunately, he does pack the Grass Knot. Uh, the 50-50 there was if he was choice, I won the game. Or if he was Yachi, he won the game. There's really no other way for that to have gone, uh, unless he was like something that wasn't Yachi. If he wasn't Yachi, then I still would have won the game. But he he was Yachi Berry, unfortunately. And Thunders will be able to clean this game up. So even though uh, Palkia put in a huge performance early on and Walrein got a kill, the Razor Winds are unfortunately going to take a 1-0 L this week against uh, Omega Jolteon. He played very well. He had some very good preps. So definitely props to him for that. And uh, this is actually a really fun match. Unfortunately, we do fall to. 1 and 2 on the season with, I believe, I don't even know what our differential is at this point. Uh, we, I think we're 1 and 2 minus 4, I want to say. We're still trying to recover from that bludgeoning week 1, so. Yeah, not really where we want to be in terms of record and diff, but we're making our way back uh, slowly but surely, hopefully. But yeah, we did take an Ellis week to our boy Omega. Uh, definitely be sure to go check out his POV in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Which, like I said, we will have all the bells and whistles of the overlays and whatnot back. But uh, thank you guys for not, uh, you know, understanding. Or for rather for understanding, you know, all the busyness of real life and whatnot. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.